From freeways to our front porch, this new first of its kind emissions map shows us what part of the valleys have the biggest footprint. I'm ABC 15 meteorologist Justin Hobbs. We're showing you how you can use this resourceful tool and what our community is saying on how we can create a cleaner city. Beneath the clear skies of the valley lies a mostly invisible footprint. The carbon emissions that shape the air we breathe. I've considered moving if the air is getting worse and worse. Now, for the first time, we can see it thanks to a new interactive map from Dr. Kevin Gurdy and his team at Northern Arizona University. We focused on Arizona specifically with three key things in mind heat, which is a big issue both in Tucson and Phoenix, of course. Um, greenhouse gas emissions and local air quality. Using decades of public data, the team mapped emissions at the street level, from homes and highways to airports and industry. We'll do the residential sector, we'll do the commercial buildings, industrial buildings, rail, airport. It breaks down each sector on a micro scale, giving us a clear picture of where we can improve. I, I think my neighborhood in Scottsdale would be high, but not as high as Phoenix, Phoenix, um, Proper. Zoom into Old Scottsdale and you'll see colors showing which blocks have higher emissions and which are below average, factoring in homes, traffic, and more. In most cities, including ours, the biggest contributor, transportation. The transition to electric vehicles is, is positive from a CO2 point of view. It's not a zero CO2 emitter, the power has to come from somewhere, but on a per mile basis, it tends to be a much lower emitter than gasoline powered vehicles. So we asked, what can we do? If companies would embrace you know, remote work, hybrid work more, that would allow for less vehicle travel. If our public transportation were a little bit more advanced, I think we would use it more. Dr. Gurney hopes the high resolution data can guide decisions both for leaders and everyday people. The idea that if you see the miles per gallon on your dashboard as you drive your car, people tend to drive more efficiently. Um, and so by making this available, recognizable in a visual landscape, it might start to alter behavior through the dashboard effect. And you can explore the full map and check out your own neighborhood right now at ABC15.com. In Phoenix, Justin Hobbs, ABC15 Arizona.